you know, we, we spoke about the fact that um, if you look at your life through the frame of reincarnation, then it gives you a different perspective on what we need to do. For, so, for example, if I understand that it's not enough for me to be a good person, right? That I actually have specific actions that I need to take, specific areas of life that are um, places that I need to fix. So, f- you know, let's say one person has a challenge, he or she doesn't like to confront other people. That's an indication, right? How do you know what you're here to correct? You have to find those parts of you that are more challenging. So those parts of you that are more challenging are an indication of your correction. So if you spend your whole life doing those things, even good things that are easy for you, and you don't find, right, looking inside, what are those things that are challenging for you, then you're not actually achieving the purpose of this life. So I think it's important. And and, and also related to that, there are people who come into our lives I was we we had a meeting last week with some of our students in Los Angeles, and I shared what to me is a very important idea. You know, we think that people come into our lives coincidentally, and I have a choice to help them or not to help them. And if I don't help this person, I'll help somebody else. But the reality is, if you understand that every person who comes into your life is not a coincidence, it is very likely a continuation of a relationship a deep one or not deep one, but some relationship that you had in a previous incarnation, and you actually have a debt to them that you owe them and therefore to help them. So it really changes our perspective on on how we interact with other people, especially those who come into our lives and need our assistance. It takes Do you remember a, that day to day? Do I remember that day to day? I try to. I try to. I think I think the the understanding is that this person isn't just happened by coincidence to come into my life and asking for this assistance or that assistance or needing my help in some way, but that I actually have a debt to them. And therefore, there's a, there's a spiritual concept that when, when a, uh, an action or a good deed comes into your life, you, you have to grab it. And it's actually very dangerous not to because you don't know if that opportunity is going to come back again. It might be that you know this person to whom you have a debt from the previous incarnation comes into your life today, and if you send them away, who knows if you'll ever have that chance again? Mm-hmm. And if you look at your life that way, that everything is 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 prepared in such a way that the people coming in and the actions that are needed are ones that are either a correction or a repayment of a debt, or in my assisting of this soul, this is how my soul elevates. There are no. It takes a little bit away from the free choice that we think we have from our interactions with people. 